Welcome to Righteous Strength. I'm Brian Pride. Today I want to talk about freedom of speech. Is it your First Amendment right? No. Freedom of speech is not your First Amendment right. And to prove that, let's read the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. The key phrase is, Congress shall make no law. It does not say, Congress hereby grants these rights religion, speech, press, assembly, to the people. Freedom of speech is not your First Amendment right. It is your natural God-given right. The First Amendment simply binds the government from interfering with that. So I hope that makes it clear that you do not get your rights from the First Amendment. It just keeps the government from screwing around with them. So when YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and everybody else take down people whose politics they don't agree with, they are not interfering with your First Amendment rights. They are private companies. They are not the government. You do not have a right to post on their platform. But they are hypocrites. and their designation should be changed because they portrayed themselves and have presented themselves and testified about themselves that they are platforms for free speech. A platform is like the phone company where you pick up the phone, you dial, you have a conversation, and the phone company has nothing to say about what goes on. If you make threats over the phone, if you arrange for a murder over the phone, if you do illegal things over the phone, you can be held responsible for what you did on the phone. But the phone company can't because it's just a platform. It's a means of communication. That's what these social media companies said they were going to be. Platforms. As soon as you start editing and removing content, you have no longer behaved as a platform. You're behaving as a publisher and publishers can be held legally responsible for the content that they allow to be published. So, these media companies, I think you better think really hard about what you're doing. Because there might come a time when somebody sues you, and because of the way you've been behaving, they say, well, you're a publisher, you're not a platform, and you can be held responsible for what you do allow on there. And you allow some vile things on there from the left-wing side of the aisle. I still see it. You don't take it down. But all these people that scream and shout for Alex Jones and Sargon of Akkad and all these people to be banned from social media, you're like three-year-olds whose friend is saying something you don't want to hear, and you're sticking your fingers in your ears, and you're going, na, 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 I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Try not to hear the other side of the conversation doesn't make you right, and it doesn't make you virtuous and noble. It makes you a spoiled little brat. Grow up. Learn to have an argument. And if you can't argue your case, without going, uh, I can't, uh, you lost. Take the loss, come back another day, and learn to make your case better. Shutting down speech you don't agree with doesn't make you noble, it doesn't make you virtuous, it makes you childish. There's a lot of stuff on social media that I think is awful. I would never ask anybody to have it taken down because I don't agree with it. I'll just learn to make better arguments. 
Stay mentally strong. Learn to think it through. Learn to use reason and logic and rational thought instead of just emotion to make a case for why you're right. Argue with people you don't agree with. Discuss civilly with people you don't agree with. It keeps you strong up here. And to keep this strong, I gotta lift some weights. <laughs>